This is Crater Lake up off the East Fork. It's off of uh, one of the areas that we like to go back the best. It's hard to get to now. The road's been gone for about 30 years. There's only a trail up there. It's about an eight-mile trail to get in there the last time I knew. This is a white cloud area. East go into a Livingston mine and go up over the top to get into there or follow the stream up. We hunted in there and fished in there. We just hiked in there just overnight just to be there. This is some more of the white cloud area with a little bit better place to hike. Easier walking. Some more of the white cloud area with the that the white stuff is not snow, it's shale. Mm -hmm. Looks like snow. It's just awful hard to climb up. You mm -hmm. Go ahead about three feet and come back two. Mm -hmm. Head three feet and back two. Mm -hmm. This is about the most beautiful picture we've got in the area. I'll have this one framed sometime. Mm -hmm. It shows a lot better on the screen than it does on the TV colors and the beauty and the shapes. This is Island Park Reservoir. Looks like right after we got our 19-foot trailer in the, in the Jeep combination. This is Laurie and her dad in Island Park. Looks like a warm, nice day. Shirt sleeves, fishing. This is a river below Coffee Pot Rapids. We used to come down here as a family. We came down here a couple of times overnight. And one night we got all the kids up out of the tent to go out in the moonlight and see a moose out in the river. You remember that, Ion? Sure do. And that's a river below a coffee pot. Looks like I should be spending time fishing instead of sitting there. And that must be the reason I wasn't fishing anymore. That was a legal limit at the time. And I don't know how many there were of us, but <laughs> they always kept it legal. This is a Rio Grande in New Mexico. Not fairly high. I'm not sure where we took it. Oh. It's probably up where the fishing's good in the Rio Grande. This was up Red River in New Mexico, above Red River. And Jim Fulweiler and David went up, stayed overnight, and then we hiked back to uh, some lakes up about 13,000 feet. We started going through some snow about three-fourths of the way up there. Looks like David getting through some. Jim and David having lunch. I expect I stopped and had some with them. And this was a frozen lake that was our destination. Frozen lake? Very frozen, yes. The fishing was not very good. This was some of the snow we needed to get through, to get in and out. This was the start of a elk hunt, Tommy and I up in Bighorn Crags, where we hiked back in 23 miles, taking a couple of days. And we got quite a few pictures here on that one. This is uh, the start of the trip. Tommy's in his raincoat. It started raining on us. We got pretty wet. About the first two or three hours out. This is some of the area we were hunting through on our way to where we were going. 
this is where we saw some couple of views. It was in the rain and it was up on near that peak. The only sheep we saw in this whole hunt were two female sheep. This one Tommy got his pack off so he stopped him. scouting a little bit there evidently. The rain's still coming down. There's Tommy looking for sheep and looks like the rain's quit. These, if I remember right, are harbor lakes. And Tom and I camped in that little split of land between the two lakes the first night in. In 10 or 12 miles, I suppose. Same lakes, you can see that little split of land a little better. Nice place to camp. You see the lakes down that we were heading for. Terrace lakes, two of them down there, or three of them. You see that pack, that was about, with our rifle, it was 70 pounds. We weighed them before we headed out, so we had a load. This is looking back, the summit you can see near the left of that big peak is the summit that we took the other picture from a while ago. And this is back on that summit again with Tommy in the same spot. You can see the lakes a little better in this picture. Side hill is some of the areas we were hunting through. This is another view of Terrace Lakes. It's off to one side, it looks like. This was our camp. That tent is a plastic sheet, a very thin one. Only weighed about a pound, but it worked real fine. Get the rain off and we hung our uh, raincoat over the front of it. It was quite cozy. This is a lake, a terrace lake where we camped right by it. Tommy, looking for game. It's Tommy at camp. Expect we're back for lunch or dinner or something. I remember that. This is another view of our camp. Tommy looks like the king of the hill in that picture. The canyon that's in front of him goes down to his right. Goes on down to the middle fork of the Salmon River. Six or eight miles on down to the middle fork. We never went down very far. This is Terrace Lake again. One of them. This was on our way back. I expect we had already covered 15, 18 miles when this picture was taken. I remember we were so darn tired we could hardly move even then. I don't know who took the picture. We haven't got our rifles, so I might have set the rifles down and set our camera. I don't remember. We took this because it had the saddle that we came over on our way home. We went over two summits two saddles. We went over one of those up there. One side of the peak of the other, to remember. That's one of the saddles that we came over, coming and going. This is another area. This is Slate Creek up out of Clayton, off of the main salmon and then up the east, east fork. This is up Slate Creek, 
sheep hunting and that, that the clouds over that peak go down into a lake that I spent about 10 years trying to get into. And later on in these pictures I, I got closer but I never got a picture of it with this. area Lamar Christensen and I hunted and Tommy and I hunted. Tommy and I had our biggest adventures right up in that area hunting sheep. That shows some of the beauty of the country up there with that white shale. That picture was a little lighter and it sure be a beauty. This is Lamar Christensen. I hunted with him up there two, three, four times. Some more of the pretty white bows. Scenic and beautiful and kind of hard to maneuver in there. This is Crater Lake from another view. That's the one I said that our one of our favorite lakes back up in there to hike into or drive to and fish. This is some more of the white clouds. The cat you hear isn't up there, it's down here with us. I think that's Lamar Christensen on the hunt with me. We used to buy all our fuel from Lamar and his dad. Years and years and years there were our mechanics in Pocatello. I think this is the prettiest scene we've got of the area up in there. This is another one I'd like to have framed. This is David and I think we're heading into a place called Rupp Lake to fish. Remember we got there and we got, I think we got our limits of fish. This is Diane on a hike. Diana. I don't know, don't know whether it's a hill Diana. south of Pocatello or Downey. It looks like Downey country. This is the upper end of Redfish Lake. We went back in there with, in, by boat, and four of us or five of us. I think Bob took us in, took the boat back, and we hiked back. Yeah. This is Bob and Betty Corner and Mel Jensen and I on our hike back. Looks like the dog, too. Bob and Betty are other co-owners of Redfish Lodge. Okay. This was off the trail heading back toward the lodge above Redfish. That's a boat down there, so it's going to give you an idea of the size. This is just a little lower down the trail. Another boat coming up at Fish Lake. This is from the big front window of Redfish Lodge. Quite a, quite a scenic view from Redfish, Redfish Lodge. This is from a little different view, but it covers redfish pretty good. And the hills and the clouds. That's a pretty picture. This is our first trailer and car, and I think it's possibly our Cadillac off and back. I'm not sure. Could have been my too. <laughs> This was a tote goat trip alone from Redfish, and this place I headed for was Casino Lakes. It's across the highway. You can see the highway down in the valley. You can't see Redfish, but it's right somewhere over my shoulders or arms, I think. Now you can see Redfish down below. Highways this side of it. I took these 
four or five pictures, please. Putting the camera up ahead and then running and jumping on the bike. This is a pause for refreshments. I think I was filling the canteen there. And I took the picture, so... I should remember. And this is at Casino Lake, where I was heading for to fish. The fishing was good. There was lots of little fish. You just about catch all you want. I just caught a lemon and quit. I was able to get them back to redfish, okay. That's a fish on the fly down in the water. You just barely see it. I took that for the little flowers are on the right, too. And that's just heading back. Heading back for camp with redfish. That shows the highway and redfish pretty well. Kind of gives you an idea of the location where I was. The tow truck made it up on top in good shape. This is the old gold dredge on Yankee Fork. The next picture shows some of the damage that caused it. Just Ruined the valley and the creek. Miles of it. Just demolished it. This is what it looked like after the dredge went by. Gail, you, you're going to look at that and feel sad. This is summit up the top of Yankee Fork Road. Looking back down towards Salmon River. Took that, there's a little bitty squirrel right in the middle of that stump. Right you have to look pretty close to see it, yeah. This is looking down on redfish, I think we're possibly heading back up to some bench lakes when this was taken. It shows some of the beautiful flowers by the trail of the redfish, on the bench lakes trail. This is one of the upper bench lakes, probably number four. There are four different heights. The farther back you got, the better the fishing was. I was fishing here and the fishing was so good, I decided I'd set the camera and cast out and see if I could catch a fish while the camera was activating. And the next one shows the results. Those two white spots that look like they're across the lake, that's the fish coming up. So I caught the fish just as quick as I could get out there and cast out and got it in the picture. That's just proof of the, proof of the shot. Pretty fish, isn't it? And some of the deer on the east fork of the salmon would go there and in the winter to fish at Jimmy Smith Lake and we see lots of deer. If we're too wild, we can get pictures pretty easy. That's a bunch of 25 or 30 head over across the creek. It's hard to tell what they are, so it's hard to count them. It's Peggy Furnace and Ann Burton and Lori. The yes. three of them came with us. We came to ice fish on the reservoir. This is Jimmy Smith Lake. And the gals had a lot more fun skating and playing than fishing, but they did fish and they did catch fish. Peggy and Lori. Mm -hmm. 
think there's some mountains just out of Mackey. This was a trailer court where I almost stopped on our way home from Redfish. And this was at Mackey. I think we stopped because I had such a headache I couldn't see. I think people camped there all summer long. Fishing was loud, you know. This is on a hike somewhere, it looks like down here. Yeah. Pocatello. You can tell. This was at Carlson Lake. I own and Laurie and I went there for one trip. This could be the trip. This is for Cimarroi up out of Mackey and Dickey. We were in there hunting. This is some of the same place. This is, I think, right up above that Carlson Lake, too, in the same area. Looks like it was a successful hunt. Looks like a nice buck. Some more of the Pacimaroi Valley that we were in. It's pretty country. A lot of antelope down in the open and deer up above. We saw a real big bear in this area years back. I don't know if they're grizzly or not, it looked big enough to be. And that was our camp for the antelope hunt. We really suffered in that roughing it. This was a scene of us taking a long, long hike. There's a lake back there about 10 miles that I've been trying to get to for years and years. And the next few pictures are my efforts to get back to it again, another one that failed. Eventually I got there, it took about 10 years. The lake I was trying to get to is up there where it looks like there's a cloud coming down into the pocket way up ahead, just below that highest knob, farthest away. That's where the lake is, and this is about as close as I got on this trip. The lake drained into Warm Springs Creek. Creek. And it's in that valley, right in the middle of the lower part of the picture. You can see the valley where the creek is. And when I came in, I came over the hills farthest away over there. It's about the same area, same picture. <laughs> 